And uh, one of my favorites, I love these. They're so cool to, to see. And it, it turns out to work so nicely. These are called lipidized dermatofibroma. And the lipidized variant of DF um, is very often occurs on the lower leg or the ankle. So they're kind of so-called ankle type or lower leg type dermatofibroma uh, colloquially just for fun. And I, I think it works out pretty well that you the vast majority of these I've seen are on the ankle or the lower leg, somewhere below the knee. I don't know why that site predisposes to this, but it really seems to. And so you get um, the, the uh, abundance or the, the preponderance of lesional cells in this type of dermatofibroma look just like xanthoma cells. They're foamy, histiocytes, some with plump nuclei. And then uh, usually though, if you have a complete um, sample of one of these at the periphery, you'll see stuff that looks more like conventional DF, has some collagen trapping, but in the middle, they look like this, like a xanthoma. But the one difference from a, 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 an actual bona fide xanthoma is the sclerotic collagen. Um, my, my former partner at, uh, at University of Arkansas, Sarah Shalin, who's just a brilliant dermatopathologist and someone who's just taught me so much and supported my career from day one. Uh, I love that one of the things she taught me is that the, these are rings and arcs of sclerotic collagen. And I, I can't recall having heard that before until she taught that to me. And I think she learned it from one of her mentors, but I really love that, um, that uh, expression because they do that the collagen is so sclerotic and dense and pink and hyalinized and it curves and curly cues and makes these arches and arcs and rings that wrap around the individual foamy cells. So it's quite lovely to look at and I, I really um, get it happy whenever I see these. I've seen some pretty big ones too. I saw one that was taken off from the ankle that was like five or six centimeters and it was like golden yellow when we cut it open grossly. It was taken off by an orthopedic oncologist because it was big enough on scan that they were concerned it might be a sarcoma. But thankfully for the patient, it was benign.